continue the truth that I had in the origin of Valentine's Day, you might not be so quick to let Cupid teach you through the heart. Through my research, I've learned about the origin of Valentine's Day and how it is celebrated in many different cultures. It was modern, modern when we think of Valentine's Day as the day to celebrate love with people that we consider our significant others. However, it actually started as the holi Catholic holiday that celebrated the martyrdom of St. Valentine. He was actually, he was executed for defying a direct order of Emperor, Emperor Claudius III under, in the 3rd century AD. During that time, the emperor had decreed that young men could not be married because they made for better soldiers when they were single. However, Valentine disobeyed this order and continued to marry them in secret. He ended up being executed on February 14th in the 3rd AD. For example, one, in my research, I found a quote that stated, when Claudius II discovered Valentine's treachery, he ordered Valentine's execution. In short, Valentine was martyred for love. And that's also where we get our modern um, idea that we should celebrate the holiday for our love for one another. It was also, not only that, did the Catholic holiday create this holiday to celebrate this martyrdom, but they, so, they created it to get to replace a pagan holiday that was celebrated in Rome at the time. The holiday was Lupercalia and was thought to bring fertility to those who participated in it. And women would line the streets and the men would come by and whip them with animal hides and blood. Now, St. Valentine is remembered as the patron saint of beekeepers, epilepsy, plague, fainting, traveling, couples, and happy love, happy marriages. Today we celebrate the, uh, the United in the United States, and it has become quite different from what it was originally out to be. Traditionally, we set in the colonial times we did not begin to celebrate in the United States until the 1700s, when couples would give each other homemade Valentine's Day. Today, we sell it is very highly commercialized, and it is thought that roses and chocolate are our ideal presents to one another, mostly to women, because we tend to think that men should be the ones who reciprocate the most. And then not only do we give each other presents, but we also tend to have a nice night out with one another. But adults are not the only ones who actually celebrate Valentine's Day with one another. Our children tend to celebrate and in the classrooms with our, with our peers as well. Parents will often bring cakes or candies and children will come together and they will have a classroom celebration one day out of the year, typically if it lands on Valentine's Day, of course, and then they will give out cards to their classmates. Not only that, but friends also participate by usually giving each other small gifts of candy and just having a good day together because typically middle schoolers do not have a significant others. However, that is a highly celebrated among adolescents entering upper middle school and high school, and it's actually a very big milestone. For me, I remember when I actually received my very first Valentine that was not given to me by my parents or my friends. I, I was dreading coming to school on Valentine's Day because it was very depressing because I didn't have anybody who liked me back. But that day I actually did end up receiving a rose for my crush and it made my absolute year. And it just proves that it is extremely important for adolescents to celebrate this holiday. It's a big milestone. And Japan has a unique culture for celebrating um, Valentine's Day that is unlike a lot of the world and only a few Asian cultures actually celebrate it the way they do. For example, women dominate the holiday. It is thought that women should be the predominant people on Valentine's Day and that only women actually give out cho homemade chocolate to men in their lives. Um, it is thought also that they have to have homemade chocolate or else the love is not sufficient or real and that they have to give chocolate to every man in their life because that's just their culture. It's, it's an obligation to them. But typically, they make the chocolate for those that they love, and that's how they prove that they love them. But during this day, on Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, men do actually, actually do not participate. They just receive the chocolates and gifts from the women. However, however, not only did it help to establish chocolate as the symbol of love for the occasion, but it perhaps secured the successful spread of Valentine's Day throughout Japan, because it was actually not a holiday that you think that an Asian culture would celebrate, a Catholic holiday. However, on 
March 14th, men actually have their own Valentine's Day that they call White Day. And this is when they they give their, the women who had gifted them on Valentine's Day, they give them back chocolates and gifts and flowers and jewelry and they have a nice day out. And this is how the Japanese and some other Asian cultures celebrate because they just think that, but predominantly the women are the ones that have to celebrate this. And other countries that celebrate um, White Day and Valentine's Day respectively are <coughs> South Korea, China, and Taiwan. Lastly, Argentina has a unique, unique way of celebrating Valentine's Day as well. They are not as extravagant as the U.S. or Japan, and they have a meager celebration on the Valentine's Day between the couples, and they have a night out or a small gift exchange. However, they actually celebrate a week of love during July, and it is called Sweetness Week. And it was created by a candy company called Accord in 1989, and it was used to advertise their new candy, Bono Bon, and it just stuck since then. Now, on the first week of July, they have Sweetness Week, where they celebrate with friends and family. It is between friends and family, and they exchange candies for kisses between couples and even strangers. However, friends also participate, and respectively, the holiday is ended on the last day of Friendship Day, where friends exchange candies and gifts and kisses between each other. I've now told you the origin of Valentine's Day and how it is celebrated in different cultures. Thank you.